Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a video by Robbie. I'm not sure if his last name is pronounced Sherard or Sherard or something else. So let's just call him Robbie. He's a stand-up comedian and he does videos on YouTube. I think he's hilarious. This video is called What It's Like Reading to Children. Robbie's sitting in a car telling us that he's about to volunteer his time to go and read books to some children at a kindergarten. And he starts off really positive and enthusiastic. And then in the second part of the video, he's back in the car explaining that it didn't go very well. Part of the character that Robbie plays is that he's a bit simple and he doesn't understand social codes of behavior or other people's perspectives. In this video, he doesn't understand how the children couldn't understand the maths that's in one of the books that he read to them. He says, I mean, I don't understand their education level, apparently. They can listen to me and they can understand me, but they can't do math yet. Robbie says math because he's American. In New Zealand, we say maths which is the same as British English. Robbie tried to read the children a children's book called Duck for President. I looked up that book and it's about a duck who runs for president, obviously. And the duck starts out his political career by organizing an election to decide who should be in charge of running the farm because he's not happy with how the farmer is currently running the farm. And in the election, Farmer John gets six votes and the duck gets 20 votes. And Robbie says that the children didn't understand that this means that the duck wins. Robbie says that that part totally threw them off. To throw someone off is an idiom which means to confuse someone. Kia ora and stick news today, an American actor told a magazine he was impotent, but it turns out he didn't actually know what the word meant. Impotence is sexual dysfunction characterized by the inability to develop or maintain an erection of the penis during sexual activity. Chris Pratt is a 35-year-old actor. He was recently interviewed by a magazine called Men's Health UK. Chris used to be overweight, and he told the magazine that the extra weight made him impotent. After the story was published, he admitted he misused the word. He said he didn't know what impotent meant, and what he meant to say was that he had a lower sex drive. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 18th of June. Kia ora. Today's word is call. Call has many meanings. For example, you can call someone on the phone. Hi, this is Sarah. You can call someone to summon them or attract their attention. Hello? In today's video, Robbie uses call two different ways. When he's talking about the boy at the kindergarten who was complaining that the girl next to him was sitting too close, he says, at the same time, he called the tile so why is she trying, why is she on his tile anyway? He called the tile. What does that mean? In this sentence, call means to claim ownership of something, at least temporarily. In my childhood growing up in New Zealand, we used the term bags in this situation. Bags is childhood slang. For example, imagine you're a child and you're going to stay somewhere on holiday with your brothers and sisters. And when you arrive, you see that there are bunks. And so you say, bags the top bunk as fast as you can, because according to childhood rules, if you say it first, then you are claiming the right to sleep in the top bunk. Robbie also says, it's a tough call, obviously. A tough call is an idiom which means a choice or judgment which is difficult to make. For example, if someone asked you, do I look better in the white dress or the black dress? And you're not really sure how to answer, you could say, hmm, it's a tough call. There are many idioms and phrasal verbs using call. On call, last call, call it a day. Can you think of any more? Yeah. 
If Farmer John has 6 votes and Duck has 20 votes, who has more votes? Okay, so which is the bigger number, 20 or 6? Okay, then who won? Where did cow come from? Twenty. Cow. A tough call means A, a difficult decision, B, a loud shout, a difficult decision. He is on call means A, he might have to work, B, he is talking on the phone, he might have to work. Last call means A, stop shouting, B, the bar is closing soon. The bar is closing soon. Call me maybe means A, my name is maybe. B, please give me a phone call. Please give me a phone call. Let's call it a day means A, let's decide which day. B, let's stop working. Let's stop working. And that was The Daily English Show. Tomorrow we're trying something a bit different on The Daily English Show. We're filming outside. We're planning to film the show outside every Friday, hopefully in a different location each week. It does depend on the weather a bit because it can rain for months on end in Auckland. So we'll see, but that's the plan anyway. We thought it might be fun to have a bit of variety so you can see something other than this black background and yellow couch. For tomorrow's show, I'll be in a park near here called Cornwall Park. See you then. Bye.